Today I'm going to cover first what a DAO or decentralized autonomous organization is and I'll also have to cover what a smart contract is because that is critical to, well, making a DAO happen. We'll also cover the difference between a DAO and a DAO LLC and the benefits of why doing one even matters slash is important and the value it can provide. And then lastly, we'll answer, can you convert an LLC to a DAO LLC? A DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. And the easiest way to think about what that means is typically when you form a company, you submit papers to the state and the papers determine the rules or the organization of the company. With a DAO, imagine if you could do that with software. And that software is actually a set of smart contracts or software or contracts written in code that determine the rules of the organization. So for example, one smart contract could be if 10 people vote this way, then this happens. And that automatically happens as part of the DAO. One thing about smart contracts is you can think of them as this immutable ledger that sits on the blockchain. And to put that in English, what that means is you might have a checkbook or a set of cells in an Excel spreadsheet which keep track of something. A smart contract sits in a code base that sits on the blockchain and it's a set of rules that is immutable, meaning it can't be changed without a record of it happening. What makes this interesting is that it's important that a blockchain or a smart contract cannot be changed because then it allows anyone in the organization to know if something was tampered with or changed. So instead of having a gatekeeper, call it an accountant or someone who's looking at this checkbook and managing things, the entire organization has transparency and visibility into this ledger or the blockchain to ensure if any changes have or haven't been made. An analogy I like for what a DAO is, is think of a DAO as a group chat with a bank account. What does that mean? Okay, let's imagine you're texting your friends. And if you and your friends were like, hey, let's pull together some money and go buy something, you would each have to go to your banks or go to Venmo and wire each other. And then you would have to decide one person to go buy something and then split it. With a DAO, you automatically can create this group or the group chat, automatically wire funds into one place on chain, and then you can go buy things in the real world or on chain, such as NFTs. Now, what's cool about that is that previously in the past, in order to actually raise and deploy capital, you need to form a company, wire it to a bank account, and sign actual real world contracts. With a DAO, you can instantly create a group, instantly wire funds, and then instantly deploy it all in one go. And that opens up a ton of cool possibilities. A DAO LLC is a new type of entity. Legislation was actually passed in the summer of 2021 in Wyoming that gave DAOs the same type of legal registration and legal protection typically reserved for LLCs. And what that means is now a DAO has this legal wrapper, which gives you liability protection, gives you the ability to get an EIN or employer identification number from the state, and allows you to have the same protection typically reserved for LLCs. It is possible to convert a LLC to a DAO. In order to do that though, you need to actually have a smart contract address where your DAO protocol lives, and then you'll submit that to the state of Wyoming in order to have your DAO or LLC registered as a DAO LLC. Oftentimes, you actually might not need a DAO. The biggest reason why people create an LLC is for liability reasons. It's a limited liability company. But there could be cases where having increased visibility or transparency or a fully on-chain written in code organization could be beneficial. And in those cases, a DAO might be best for you. But in most cases, typically if you're just starting a business, whether it's an Amazon store or a SaaS business, an LLC nine times out of 10 is probably gonna be the best and safest choice. Hope that clarifies things. Thanks for watching. And for more content on DAOs, stay tuned, we got a lot more coming.